What's up, Bruce and John? Dixon and John, to Bruce do million subscribers special because they finally hit 1 million subscribers. So, yeah, guys, they finally hit it. Like, seriously, they finally did it. So, yeah, um, so this is the how they have 1 million subscribers special. So, yeah, guys, um, if you want to know, I was actually about to, you know, premiere the uh, message for um, it's Mario Taxi reaction mashup. So I'm gonna do that in a minute, just hold up. So let's do this reaction. Let's do this reaction quickly. Quick yeah, sing us, let's get to sing us, let's get to video. Hold up and three two one. Uh, Jesus. Uh sing us, let's get to video and three two. Jesus. Um three two one we have Aaron Jesus. Alright, for those of you that don't know, this channel has recently hit 1 million subscribers. And that's quite Congratulations. a lot I have to say. Especially when it's been almost 7 years since I told my very first story. A story about me getting my wisdom teeth ripped out of my head. And I'll never forget Whoa. the first comment that I ever received. It was a comment that said, I wanted to rip out all your teeth with pliers after 30 seconds of this video. Oh, well, Why? that's not very good motivation, but I guess I'll take it. So in honor of this accomplishment, I what? wanted to answer a few questions that I get asked for frequently and maybe shed some more light on what Bruce Stu Films is. Question number one. Why is the channel called Bruce Stu Film? Well, I named the channel after my group of friends, which we called ourselves the Brew Crew, which is named after Brewer, the patriarch of the group. But the domain uh -oh. name BrewCrew.com was already taken, so I changed it to Brew Stu instead. Which brings me to question number two. If the channel's called Brew Stu Films, is your name Stu or Stuart? Stewart? And the answer to that is no, my name is not Stuart. What the hell kind of name is that? I'd probably be sucking dick for money if my name was Stuart. It's Brew Stu what? Films because Brew Stu rhymes and because the BrewStu.com domain name was like 12 bucks. The end. Question number three. Are the stories mm -hmm. you tell real? Yes, these stories are real. Duh. Real people with real names. Sometimes I do Duh. change the names, but most well, of the time I'm just like, nah, fuck it, Mr. Jones. Anyone who does animation, anyway. I'm not changing your name of course the, the stories are real. Comic. Like, Question the Owens out when he does it, it actually is real. With all right. I, it actually well, happened. It's actually not real. Right it's actually not. Like the well, point. there's so many people out is, there that can't tell a story because they drag on about all the unnecessary details. So then I was going to go to the mall, but then I had to pick out my dress, and I didn't know if I wanted a blue dress or a red dress because it was a Tuesday or wait maybe it was a Thursday I don't remember god damn it get to the I point I mean you don't I have to cut through you don't have to tell us if it's, why I don't have any if it's on Monday or whatever I don't do any clickbait bullshit I just want to tell my goddamn story and the quickest way to tell clickbait. a story is to say all right and then you tell the fucking story all right yeah all guys right. I have to censor this actually five. why does your voice sound so different in your older video if you look at my El Dentist Puberty, video I guess. from seven years ago or your voice is just changing pretty different I'm like whispering and talking really fast I sound like I'm making a 911 call from the trunk of somebody's car and that's because I wasn't very comfortable talking in front of a microphone back then because you have to think about it it is kind of a weird thing to do you're sitting in a room Chew. by yourself telling a story to fucking nobody you got your cat reacting to stuff at you. why is this what asshole I'm watching you yelling about fart jokes and Lindsay Lohan hell originally I had Brewer tell the mm -hmm. stories and I was just gonna animate them that's what we did for the first video Walker Texas Ranger but eventually mm -hmm. I started recording my own stories and I've done that ever since granted I don't sit in a room with that goddamn cat anymore Usually I drive my car to some isolated spot and record while guys, I'm inside the um, car. My what I'm doing right now, I'm parked these behind reactions, a fucking actually. Chuck E. Cheese right now, looking like some kind of weirdo pervert recording the audio for this video. <laughs> Question number six. How long like will a you do Bruce Stu films for? Probably until YouTube decides to demonetize my whole channel, which should be any day now, so that's pretty cool. Question number seven. Don't what jinx do you it. use to animate? I use Adobe Flash and Adobe Premiere. And if you're looking to do shitty cartoons like I do, well, you can teach yourself how to do it. People come up to me all the time like, ah, oh, you should do a cartoon about when my Uncle Bob lit the bushes on fire. And I'm always like, what? well, I can't. For one, I don't know who the hell your Uncle Bob is. And for two, I wasn't there when it happened. But you could <laughs> probably make saying. a cartoon about your dumbass Uncle Bob. It's not very hard. Just do what I did. Get Adobe Flash and look up a bunch of YouTube tutorials. You don't even have to go to a shitty community college class like I did. They're just going to show you how to slide a triangle across the screen with a goddamn motion tween. Just watch the what? tutorials on YouTube. You'll learn the basics. And then all of a sudden, you're drawing your Uncle Bob or you're like me and you're animating your dumbass friend wiping his ass on your other dumbass friend as a wrestling move. The rest oh my is God, history. Jesus. And finally, question number eight. It's a question that I hear probably, I don't know, every day of my life. What happened to Michael and do you still talk to him? 
And the answer to that is, do you really think I'd still talk to somebody that I've talked so much shit about? I haven't talked to Michael no. since I was a kid. I don't know what the hell he's doing with his life, and I doubt he even knows what the hell a Bruce do is. But I'm sure one day I'm gonna get a very awkward phone call from him, and he's gonna be like, dude, what the hell? Why'd you make me look like such a dumbass as a kid? And I'm gonna be like, well, Michael, because you were a dumbass yeah. when you were a kid. Say hi to your stepdad for me. But on a serious Jesus. Note, thank you everybody for watching these shitty cartoons that I make. It's an absolute shitty honor cartoons. and a privilege to make these for you guys. As long as you guys keep watching them, I'll keep making them. And special thanks to that asshole that wanted to rip all my teeth out. You gave me all the motivation to keep on Wow. Going. Yeah, because he does actually help you. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, Bruce soon finally hit it. One million subscribers, baby. There we go. Congratulations, y'all finally hit it. There we go, finally. He finally, really, finally freaking hit it. I can't believe it. Like one day, one of my fans said, "This one reactor," and I've been reacting to videos, and like it's. And even though you know these are shitty, they're kind of they're, they're funny and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like, comment, subscribe. My notification and notification bell is good. If I want to follow up on the back, I can't do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. That was the video. Who cares enjoy the video? Please like button and subscribe button. And don't forget to smell good enough. I'm uploading the video. That was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.